We are the media movement. Hello, children. <laughs> Hi, my people. <laughs> <laughs> my name is, is Tyra Green, and I'm with Baycat, and I have a voice. And we're making a documentary about Baby Hunters Point, and I'm trying to have Baby Hunters Point have a voice, too. Okay, congratulations. Hi. And, your, and your voice is important, and it matters, and you matter, okay? Bayview Hunters Point is, first of all, if you just look at the landscape of the city, it's one of the most beautiful areas of the city. What I marvel about is the extraordinary capacity and talent of the people that live in Bayview Hunters Point. To me, that's the greatest strength, and it's the savior of Bayview. The people that make Bayview, I think, so very, very important. We have one of the largest homeowner populations in the entire city, so that means that we have people who have invested in our community, who are fourth, uh, uh, second, fourth, third generation. It's the backbone of San Francisco in many respects where San Francisco was founded. What you're doing right now is a community building tool. And, um, and what we can do, I think, in the city to help is to make sure that you have those resources that you need. And we also have to make sure that you're educated on how to get those resources and how to use them. I want to provide the same quality services and the same attention that traditionally the city halls provided the rest of San Francisco. I want Baby Hunters Point to feel like we care and they matter. I want the community to feel like they're an integral part uh, of San Francisco. to look at what we're doing with our youth and make sure that young people don't go into the juvenile justice system because if they do, they'll probably end up being in the system for a long time, right? So we need programs for youth and we need resources for youth. My vision for Bayview is, is just one of an open and beautiful and vital community. Tear down a lot of the projects. I would build um, affordable houses because home ownership is very important. And if we can change their surroundings, their communities, then that, that's one step up as far as changing the mindset. I'm not God, but, but I can control about, about I can control my destiny and where I'm going and what will happen in my life. We kind of gave up on Bayview uh, once the Navy left and once our sort of industrial revolution uh, exhausted itself and uh, that's wrong. I want Bayview Hunters Point to look like one of the great centers in the city. I want it to look like uh, Pacific Heights. We need more stores um, and we need more economic vitality in that area of our city. You're my boss. Uh, so you have the right to demand certain things of me, respectfully, uh, and you should expect a lot of things from me. I work for you. You pay my salary. I can't solve the problems in Bayview. Only the residents of Bayview can solve the problems. The challenge that I have is to get San Francisco to connect with Bayview and start exploiting what's right, not what's wrong about the community. When that time comes, when you reach 18, you can um, get out there and, and vote. And voting makes a big difference. Don't think it don't, it does. Well, looking at you, 
and the people that are around you helping you. I think our future is very, very bright. I truly do. And you will be heard. We have breaking news tonight. A San Francisco man killed just a few weeks ago in a police shootout in the Bayview District was carrying a gun. The violence prone Bayview District gunned down on the streets of Bayview. The city's wave of violence continued with two more homicides. Authorities have arrested a fugitive. CHP zeros and on Bayview to curb crime. And we are also learning more this morning about an overnight homicide. The second murder occurred in Bayview District. He suspected of killing a baby last year in a shooting. He was shot dead. Was shot and killed. The second murder occurred in Bayview District on Saturday evening. The damage from violence in Bayview has spread to thousands of people. Teams of officers from California Highway Patrol arrested 13 people during the sweep of San Francisco Bayview Hunters Point neighborhoods. Some Bayview residents have complained that the saturated neighborhood where police was overkill. If all you read about is that your community is uh, is engaged in, in, you know, in negative activities, that, that things are always wrong, you start believing it yourself. One of the ways to impact media and the way it covers is to make sure that when you don't like something, you call the TV station or you write a letter to the editor so that your voice is heard. The best thing you can do is make sure your voice is heard. Crime is down in Bayview Hunters Point. Homicides are up. But crime overall is down. That doesn't get any attention in the media. What gets attention is the exploited images of violence and crime, not the exploited images of kids at play and barbecues and, and parades and events uh, where we celebrate uh, uh, the community. And whenever we do talk with the media, we have to make sure that we talk about the good and positive things. You're not waiting for Channel 5 or Channel 7 to come and tell your story. You're telling it. And I think that's where we start, that you tell your story, you get things done, you're getting experience. You can work in the media. We can change the future. The way I feel about Bayview Hunters Point is it's a beautiful neighborhood to live in. It has nice views. I think everyone should be proud of this neighborhood. It's a good community. I feel that it's a very beautiful place. I feel safe, but sometimes I don't feel so safe because it's a certain time when you can go outside. It's a lot of trouble going on and there's a lot of drugs and happening. It shouldn't get kicked aside by other people. I think that Baby Hunters Point can be very different from now. It's safe, but it could be safer. All of us can work as a team to do it. It's a great neighborhood. Bayview is my home. <laughs>